I knew there was something was happening, but I didn't know what. I always loved being in a canoe and I used to put my hand over the edge of the canoe and dra drop my hand in the water and grab at uh, reeds and things that were sticking out. And I had no idea we were going to be gone for good. But when we drove away and I turned around and I waved at my sister because I knew we were going and we were going to be gone. I had no idea where we were going. It's still very emotional for me to go back to that place. I didn't cry when, I, when, that, when that happened. I just was very confused. It's only today I can shed tears for it. Because I know and understand. And then we were introduced into institutional life which we had no idea. You know, everything was done by the clock. And then when we get together, we weren't allowed to speak, which is very tough for children. They like to say what's on their mind. They like to talk. They like to laugh and they like to play. So it's those kinds of things that I had to adjust to and my family had to adjust to it as well. For a long time, uh, I did feel very lonely. And I would be in my bed and I'd pull my uh, sheets over my head because I didn't want anybody to hear me crying but I could hear them. Because I wasn't the only one that was doing that. And that, I knew that was very painful. Not only for me, but for, for the others. And I realized that I have to do this. I have to get through this. I don't know where I got that kind of insight at being five years old, being, being able to say those things to myself, that I, uh, I can't be feeling sorry for myself. I have to, to help those ones that I could to Sometimes I would get out of bed and I'd go and hug them. Or they'd come over and hug me because everybody knew. And just to share some warmth and some love for each other. But I realized I had to be strong. I had to start uh, not letting that bring me down. Creator was always guiding me. Creator was always guiding me to what I needed. And I'm glad that I accepted that and let, let that be my guide. Because we as human beings want to laugh. And when you're children, you want to play, you want to laugh, you want to dance, you want to sing. Some of the children that, that I was with in the school were being abused, but that was always done privately. They always took them away, and then they never shared anything with us. But it's only after that we come, started to come together as, uh, as uh, former students and started to build our healing journey here in this building. 
uh, that they were abused like that. The evidence keeps rising. Like when they discovered the over 200 um, internment of children in the, in the Kamloops area, all those remains being discovered. They rose again. They came back in their way to remind the people of this very uh, tragic history of the residential schools and what went on in the residential schools. The story kept growing. And it was after we had started the healing journey that that part of the story came to light. I do believe spiritually that Creator knew we were ready. We were ready to deal with that. We still had to come together. That seemed to be our way of dealing with this. It is the truth. Canada has started a movement, which they had funded, called Truth and Reconciliation. Well, we had to continue to remind them we can't have reconciliation. We have to have truth first. And that's when that discovery happened. I think that was a shock to the world. And some people can't deal with that. They don't know how to um, feel about their own, their own people, their own race, that something so horrendous could, they could have done, could have been done by their people. And it's a hard one, and I know that. But if we're gonna move forward with truth and reconciliation, that has to be accepted. The truth has to be accepted, cannot be denied, because that's what it's all about. We have to heal as human beings. And we have to acknowledge what took place in this country and so we can live together in peace and harmony because until that happens there will be no true peace and I think that's what we want we need as people on this planet is peace after I left uh, residential school because we didn't do any ceremonies in residential school who was not allowed when I went to my first powwow, I went to a powwow, and I could see them with the sweet grass and the, the sage, and they were lighting it and taking a feather and, you know, brushing it over themselves. And I've got, why? I wonder why they do that. Until I got to the sage when it was my turn. And I felt when I first did my first smudge, I felt myself opening up in my heart and my spirit. It is a gateway. It is the key that unlocks that. That's what I believe. That's what that is. And the Creator gave us that medicine to do that. Wow, that's amazing. We as uh, Indigenous people are, had to learn our ways again. Many of us that had attended uh, residential school had to learn our ways again 
So it was a journey of discovery. And everything that I've learned, relearned, I should say, has been helpful to me. And I've been able to embrace the ceremonies. So we can't do it alone. And that's the beauty of healing. We can't do that alone. We have to do it with others. The tools that we use <clears throat> for Indigenous people is, it's uh, our sacred medicines, and it's also our stories that we tell in circles, because circle is very powerful. It's a powerful place to be when people sit in a circle and share their experiences and their story, because it's not just words, it's the spiritual aspect of the ceremony. And part of that is the, the respect that we hold for creation, Mother Earth, because Mother Earth truly is our mother. We get our existence, we're able to live because of the earth because of the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat is from our mother. That concept in a very respectful way will open things within us that will help, always help us. I'm so grateful to Creator for bringing people together so that we can meet each other and we can look at life and share our experiences and move towards sharing a world that is beneficial to everyone in the same way so that we can gain that experience of true joy and love. I'm so grateful for that.